Good morning. I'm Joseph Knox with Visions Me, and today we're part of the Mike Smith blog and at the YMCA. As we've mentioned, he gets involved in many marathons throughout the communities and for causes that he cares about. And we're so happy to be a part of this. Thank you and have a great day. Be well. Mike, last week we, did, we talked some uh, in regards to three of your interests and even passions of who you are. And here we're here again just for you to elaborate on some of those topics of the history of the funeral home, your running, and also your faith. Well, yeah, I mean, I've combined, you know, you, you do things and you combine a lot of them together. And so you're doing, it seems odd, but you're doing a lot of them at the same time. Uh, one of the things I do is when I go to the Y, uh, to the YMCA here in Port Huron, there's, um, you know, there's a lot of our community that uses the Y. Uh, all cross sections of our community use the YMCA. And so I'm excited to be uh, campaign chair uh, for a, the Y fundraiser coming up uh, in the spring. I'm going to be the chair of that, and, and it's basically fundraising for the Y so it can continue uh, some of the programs to, to help uh, the youth in our area that, that wouldn't otherwise have access to the Y. And so that being said, so it has sort of one of my passions is the, the physical activity for uh, the youngsters to get into that is, makes them you know, feel wonderful. It makes you feel good as a person. Of, of giving uh, of yourself, of what be your time, your talent, uh, or your treasure. And so, you know, these types of programs are always available to get involved with at the Y. And uh, I was fortunate enough here last week to watch some kids in the, in the Catch Kids program uh, from Garfield School uh, participate at Garfield School with this program. Uh, where the YMCA comes right to the school and uh, puts on uh, this program where they keep these kids uh, occupied with physical activity, uh, healthy eating. Um, the physical activity is, includes exercise and, and uh, also some things to keep their mind stimulated as well. And that's from about an hour and a half after school. And then they also meet at the Y, and so I met them at the Y the one day here uh, last week and they went through a program there also with uh, swimming. Uh, so it's an important program and it really it really brings out uh, the humanity in you to want to wanna help help people and, and to do things for these kids. And, and uh, so look for me coming up here soon, uh, fundraising for the YMCA, because it's an important program. Mike, just as you were talking, it jumped off the page for me in listening that maybe when we're younger, we think of our lives as linear departments. Now I'll go to work, now I'll go jog, and now I'll uh, sit in front of the TV. Right in your conversation a few minutes ago, you talked about how it intertwines. Here you're involved in fitness, and now you have to be an example, there's kids in front of you and they're going through that. And so this inner smile came, I felt, in the balance of life and how we continue to merge into becoming. Yeah, well, I mean, as, as you get older, I suppose it all it all comes together. Everything that you do is all, is all interconnected. And, uh, you know, you, you can't have your um, your life without your faith being interconnected into it and uh, what you what you feel and what you uh, who you are uh, becomes a part of everything so if it's funeral service that I do which is a real you know human experience between humans to, to share you know with one another and from helping out maybe at the Y or, or some other uh, group in town uh, to you know the the physical activity that that I do and you know you do with with friends or colleagues and and uh, and family members. It's all 
it's all really interconnected because it, it's our humanness um, that connects us initially, but, but then you start to do these things together and, and your faith is really the underlying current uh, through all those and is woven through everything that you do. So that has been important to me and it's been fun to, uh, to learn more about and to search more about. So, 10K, that was a 10K. Uh, that was a personal record, I think, for me. 43 minutes. So that's about, about seven minutes a mile, I, I'm thinking. I started out way too fast, and I got caught uh, by Mike Eckert. And uh, I think Dr. Overmeyer got me to it at the end. And there's a woman there, I don't know her name, but I think she finished second overall. So, what a blast. People still finishing. Uh, my wife is still out there, so I probably got to go run with her or I'll get in trouble.